Hi guys, I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Peyton, um, I'm 19 years old, I'm a zoo science student at Friends University, and one day I hope to be a primate keeper. Um, today we're gonna spend about five to six minutes talking about colobus monkeys and how we can help them. So, probably wondering why they need our help, right? Um, the biggest issue that they have is deforestation. So, colobus monkeys live in Central Africa, and one of the biggest causes of deforestation in Central Africa is these developing countries in that area rely heavily on wood fuel. So, that kind of promotes their need for chopping down trees in the area. They also have an issue with um, the forest area being converted into agricultural, agricultural land. So they'll completely clear out a forest in order for them to farm on that land instead. So raise your hands if you've used any of these products today. Soap, shampoo, lipstick, toothpaste, laundry detergent, chocolate, ice cream, margarine, instant noodles, cookies, or bread. It's a lot, right? Um, so palm oil can be used in any of these items, and there's a whole lot longer of a list, but those are just some of the products. So palm oil, when they're doing that, when they're doing the factories for it, they end up taking out a lot of um, forests. And this is mostly an issue in Southeast Asia and Western Africa, but as the population of these products increase, then they'll have to tear down more forests in order to keep it going, and we really don't want that. So trees are really important to colobus monkeys. Like we have our houses, our grocery stores, protection, transportation, telephones, trees serve as all of these things for colobus monkeys. So colobus mon monkeys are mostly arboreal, which means that they live in the trees. They spend most of their time in the trees, so they're gonna sleep there, they're gonna eat there, and they're gonna hang out there most of the time. Um, trees also kind of serve as their grocery store because the majority of their diet is leaves, so they don't have to go real far for their food. Um, trees serve as protection, so it blocks out rain or any kind of bad weather, and then also predators, they're able to run up into the tree and climb through it a lot faster than their predators since they don't have a whole lot to fight them off with. It also serves as transportation. So colobus monkeys have this really pretty white fur and what they do is they climb all the way to the top of that tree and they make a big leap and they'll be able to soar up to 50 feet because of this fur right here, which acts as a parachute for them to go to tree to tree. And I can pass this around if you guys like. And with that, they're, a lot to, they're able to get places a lot faster than they would if they were just standing on the ground. It also serves as telephones so they mostly communicate through clicks, chirps, screams, and purrs, and they live together in adjacent trees. So if there aren't as many trees in the area, then it kind of puts an impact on the way that they communicate with each other. So what can we do? Um, the biggest thing that we can do to help colobus monkeys is to pay attention to what we're buying. So, Buying certified wood products is one thing we can do, making sure that they're being taken in a responsible way and in a sustainable way. Um, buying recycled materials so then it doesn't need to be made anymore. And then uh, things that don't contain palm oil or has palm, in it, palm oil in it in a sustainable way. And then some other things we can do is recycle anything that can be recycled, especially paper and cardboard. Um, we can also use less paper at home and in offices by using technology. Um, reducing our meat consumption. So it takes a lot less space for us to have like a farm of just plants rather than having to keep up with livestock because that takes a whole lot more space and 
the earth really can't accommodate that without chopping down a bunch of trees. And then you can donate to an organization that's working on deforestation and uh, making sure trees are being planted and things are being done in a sustainable way. Um, so organizations include Amazon Watch, Survival International, International Working Group for Indigenous Affairs, and Rainforest Action Network. Does anybody have any questions?